Earn.gg is a website where you can earn free money. If you go to the Earn tab, you will see different providers offering video advertisements, and you can pretty much leave this running all day while you're gaming, and you will receive points. These points can be redeemed for real money, including Bitcoins and PayPal, as well as CSGO gambling websites and even gift cards. Make sure you check out the site down below in the description and use my referral link. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I just want to say thank you so much for all the amazing support everyone's been leaving on this series. I'm really grateful for all the positive feedback as well, but I do apologize for being slightly inactive. Now, if you guys do not know, I actually own a server called The Den, and today was supposed to be the day for beta release. However, we had some technical difficulties last night, and because of that, we're now releasing July 1st. But if you guys don't know, I've been slightly busy with The Den, um, and and that's kind of why I've been slightly inconsistent with uploads. But the good news is that now that we're in beta, I have some more time to actually uh, crank out some videos. So expect daily uploads. I promise you guys that. And I also am finishing up my summer course as well. So everything is coming together really well. But today I want to work on the village. As you can see, there's a big change. It's completely different from the last episode. I redid all the roofs on all the buildings here. This is the new design we're going to go with. I really like it. I got some inspiration for some tutorials online. Um, um, and I just really kind of just made it my own so I really love this and it's really coming along really great this town compared to what it was before but the reason why we were all the way at the shack was because I wanted to get some pistons that we got from the uh, what was it the jungle temple um, and because of that we're gonna use it to make someone mentioned this during a stream but we're gonna use it to make a uh, potion slash bar area so pretty much it's going to be like an area where you can go and get like some potions and we're gonna design it as a bar so I think it's gonna be really cool we're gonna use it as one of our our uh, buildings over there so it's gonna be one near the tower you guys will see what I mean we're gonna grab some redstone and I realized I have so much stuff in here it's absolutely insane and we thought we didn't have enough things but we actually have like a lot of stuff that we can take uh, so for now I'm just gonna leave it all here eventually we're gonna organize everything else but in the meantime I do want to grab some more of this redstone we do have a lot of saddles and a lot of other good stuff so uh, we're gonna need to do that as well we're gonna have to grab all that stuff eventually and organize it how's it going scooby-doo all right so now it's time to go and start to work on this bar potion area but before we do that I want to work on some other things uh, because we still have plenty of time but uh, what I wanted to mention was this new design, like I said, was going to be kind of inspired to make this kind of like not even not a medieval look to it, but uh, just to kind of make it look a little bit more detailed because the roof we had before was just too simple and I did not like it as much. Uh, but during the streams, we actually got to do some work on this building here. And as you can see, we have an armor room. So I just randomly decided to design this armor room uh, just to give it some cool, unique look. There was really no idea behind it. I just tried some random things and it looked out to be uh, a really cool idea so I'm pretty happy with it um, all the armor is gonna go over here we're gonna have a chest here to fill out the basic needs but uh, as you guys can see there's nothing on the armor stands because we need to go and make some better armor um, and it would be kind of cool to even theme out some of the armor as well like we could make it like from Marvel we have like an Iron Man uh, armor stand as well that'd be kind of cool but uh, yeah that's just some ideas other than that uh, let me know what you guys think about the roofing here um, and I just want to actually grab oh I forgot we organized everything during the stream as well Which is a really good thing because now we can actually go around and know where our stuff is without having to go and, and like find stuff Which is so much easier, but I wanted to work on some new design that I actually mentioned a while back I think it was like episode 4 or episode 3 and it was about making bridges connecting the buildings And you guys are gonna see just what I mean about that. Um, I think it's a really cool idea uh, Let me know what you guys think about it as well once you see it. Let me think what did I do over here? I'll show you guys an example. This is one that I made and I really like it It just pretty much connects the buildings and if you go on the second level You can kind of like uh, just walk across instead of going all the way down I think that's cool. It definitely gonna make this town more like complete. I think I also wanted to grab I think jungle leaves I'm gonna take instead um, I also want to take some glowstone and last but not least is one more thing which is the jungle wood I was looking for that just now. I don't think we have any more junk. Oh, there it is. All right, perfect and we have fences, we have everything we need, awesome. So, uh, the main design is already done over here, so I'm gonna replicate that here, but this is the bigger project because it's gonna be like an L shape. Um, I think it would be kinda cool, and in between could do some type of design, but I think an L shape would be really awesome to have. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pillar up. I wanna have uh, pillars kinda supporting this bridge, but 
In the meantime, I want to make sure that this design is perfect. Like there's no issues, no flaws with it because that's always difficult to fix a flaw. So uh, let's see, was that the right way? I think it was, yes it was, okay, perfect. So now we can just officially take this down and we can just go across uh, if this thing will want to like work with us right now. Like why, why I have to do this right now? Let's go, let's see if this will work. Oh my gosh, this is the tough part. So now I have to pillar all the way sideways just so I can get this to work. This is just a pain, okay. So we have to do this. Oh my gosh, why is it so difficult? All right, all right. So what we're gonna have to do instead, I guess, is we're gonna put the middle part, I guess. Maybe that's just easier to do. So we're gonna do this. It's pretty much going to connect L-shape all the way over there. Uh, so let's actually start connecting it over here so you guys get a better visual. And now I guess this is the easier part. I should have started with making the middle, right? I think that's like, that was the go-to. I should have done that. Uh, now, I don't have any actual brewing stands. We have to go to the nether. Uh, a lot of you guys are saying to go to the nether. And we're going to definitely do that. So that's probably our next project and the next episode. Because we need some blaze so we can make ourselves some potions. So I'm thinking maybe next episode we are going to do some potions. Which would be kind of cool. Or at least try and attempt at making some potions. Because it's about time. I think we're going to have to go eventually uh, to the end. Uh, we're gonna have to fight some withers. We could do a wither challenge. That would be kind of cool as well But I would really like to find a fortress. That would be absolutely fantastic All right, so here's the basic design as you can see I want I want to use some jungle wood I, I don't know why but recently I've been like liking to use the jungle wood. It definitely looks cool um, I think it adds a little bit of contrast. So let me know what you guys think Obviously now that I started to work with it I'm gonna have to keep it throughout as a theme. So that's just the kind of like uh, just letting you guys know So right now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to kind of have like a support, structural support that holds this bridge because obviously it can't just be just hanging out out of nowhere, you know? So we're gonna have to add some structural support like we are doing right now. Uh, we'll definitely fix the uh, that, that piece over there when we get to the top. All right, so it's looking good. I'm thinking we're gonna need one right here as well. All right, it's gonna be weird, but it's like in the corner, but whatever, that should be fine. And there we go. Let's see, where else could we add one? We could definitely add one also let me let me actually rethink i think this should be moved i think this should actually be right where the corner piece is uh so that way it's kind of symmetric in a way so let's actually try to redo this part here pretty sure oh wait no i messed that up that's supposed just to be the bridge there it is the bridge goes there nope oh i forgot i didn't put the uh the the stairs on the other side oh my gosh alex and gg all right here we go put the stairs on the other side and now i can have a better uh kind of visualization of how I want to do this. So I'm thinking we're going to have to do one right here, right where it connects in the corner. So that's going to be removed, and we can put ourselves the support beam. There it is, some oak over there, and then right over here as well. I want to keep it symmetrical as possible. That way it's going to look good. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this. This is very different. I usually don't do, like, bridges connecting to homes. That's why I'm really trying something different here. Um, and I think you guys might like this. It's, it's really different. So... Other than that, I mean, I don't think I need to add more of a support. Um, just that maybe will be enough. I guess we can add one more. It wouldn't hurt to put one, like, right there. So let's go ahead and do that as well. And same with the other side. Um, and we ha might have to replicate this as well on the other building. So let's go ahead and try that here like this. Oh, there we go. Let's take this back down. Fix it up. There we go. And I think right over here, what was it, two blocks? So one, two. I guess right here would be the perfect fit to put one more. Here we go. And that should be it. I mean, that's not too bad. I'm not, I'm not really, uh, I thought it was going to be a lot too, too overdone, like really complicated, but I think it's, it's, it's fine. If you guys think it's too much, let me know. But you know what? I don't think it's that bad because it's going to have so much more details to it. So I think that's fine. It could be a little bit too much, but, um, I could definitely change it up a bit. It's turning night. So I forgot where the heck I placed my bed. Uh, this is going to be a struggle. I completely forgot where I placed my bed. I think it's somewhere around there. It should be somewhere around there. If not, then we just lost we just lost our only source of uh sleep just now. Oh jeez, it's not here. Okay, this is this is not good. Okay. I'm pretty Oh wait, it's in the tower. I completely forgot about that. By the way, because these uh buildings are much taller than before, I think we're gonna have to upgrade this tower and make it a little bit taller because it is quite short. Um, now that we have bigger buildings, which I don't mind having these buildings so tall with the roofs because I think it looks really cool. I, that's just my personal opinion on it, but let me know what you guys think about that, but I really do like it. I think it looks cool. All right, let's go ahead and just add some random fences going along here. I don't know why I'm just adding these because I think it just looks good. Uh, and now we're going to add some leaves. I'm going to go with jungle leaves. I want to use jungle leaves. Um, 
I'm gonna have it like wrap around this guy right here. That would be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and try that. So over here on the bottom will be a little bit more. Here we go, perfect. So it's kind of like wrapping around it. That's not too bad, here we go. Okay, just adding a little bit more to it, a little bit more design. And uh, we're definitely gonna have to put the, f uh, the fences on the top. Let's just take that one down. Let's go ahead and redo this actually. So it's going down here. That should be like the end of it right there. And it should continue to go around. So it's wrapping around here, goes there and there. Perfect, all right. That's good enough for now. Uh, just something basic to add a little bit over there as well for detail. And then the main important part is the vines. I think vines will be nice to have around here, just like randomly hanging. Uh, let's put some around here. There we go. Uh, I just want everything to be kind of like not overgrown, but I would like to have some vines around here. It definitely adds a little bit more detail to everything. So I don't mind it. I think it'll look kind of cool. So there we go. Nice. All right. So now we can go ahead to the top and add the, oh, is it actually raining? Oh, geez. All right. Let's go back to the top. I want to add the fences. I should have some fences on me. Here we go. Um, I think this will look quite cool. This is like really different. I've never done this before. And I think because it's thundering and we don't have the sound on, we can technically go to sleep. So we're going to give that a shot. Now, I do notice the the um, these uh, oaks need to be changed. But let's just go over here uh, to the tower. All right. Oh, geez. Yeah, we could definitely go to sleep. I already hear the zombies and everyone coming out. That's kind of insane. I never like building in the rain. It's just never good. It's never a good time. I feel like only bad luck happens then. Uh, also added some more details over here, which looks kind of cool. I think it looks kind of cool at least. Um, it just makes everything pop a little bit more, which is, I just realized this is not even. This needs to be moved over one more. Uh, we'll fix that eventually. But let's go back up to the top here as we just completely wasted all this. And I have to fix, like I mentioned, the oaks. Uh, so that's one thing I need to fix right now so I don't forget because I feel like I will forget. So instead, this should be like this. And that looks fine, I think. So let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's different. It's unique. It's just something I've never done before, and I think it will look kind of cool. So like I said, uh, this is like a bridge kind of connecting to all the second levels of the, of the homes here. Not homes, but really just like any of the buildings. Um, and we're just gonna kind of try to replicate this throughout for some reason I did say it before it reminded me of like Assassin's Creed for some strange reason I have no idea But uh, it just makes me feel like that type of town that you would see in Assassin's Creed that has all these different like areas You can connect to but yeah, that's just that. that's just me going on But over here is kind of cool because I added the armor room But now we have this open space So I'm gonna need you guys to let me know what I should do with all this open space here It also connects to this area over here, which we're gonna have to eventually make a bridge for uh i don't think you know what we could do it now it's not a big deal let's go ahead and give it a shot it shouldn't be too difficult um it's actually quite quick so let's go ahead and make ourselves the bridge here it is same with this side and then we're gonna go and work on the potion room which is pretty much like a small little bar i already have an idea for it so i think it should look kind of cool and i just messed that up oh my gosh why why do i always do this all right here we go much better now we're back to the top add our fences like this and there we go i think it just looks awesome like this so let's go back down add the fence posts like i mentioned i don't know why i just it just looks good i think it just looks good like this and then add some leaves i think just like a few leaves like that is fine and then we can add some vines just hanging around here we go and that's pretty much it really that we can do for vines we could add one more over there and other than that, that's that's everything we can do for vines. But yeah, there it is. So I'm, I'm quite happy with this design. I really do think it looks cool. It's bringing everything together more. I'm going to add more detail to this, though. This looks a little bit bland. Um, I would like to add some more structure to it. But it does feel a little bit overwhelming. Just there's so much support beams for it, which I might have to remove um, during a stream or during off screen. I feel like maybe we can remove a few. But really, technically, it's not not too bad it's not too bad i think it's fine for now we could leave it as it is um other than that actually now that i think about it these could have been moved right to the wall so it's kind of supported right with the wall is and i think that's what i will do so i'm going to change it off screen to where 
these uh, posts are connected right to the wall instead. And I think that would look kind of cool. But other than that, I'm really happy with how this is turning out so far, especially this one too. It's all just connecting and it just looks really, really complete now. So let's go to the flooring of the new potion room, which I'm really, really excited for. This is going to be awesome, this room. I have a basic idea um, and then eventually we're going to develop it further on. But I think we're going to go with jungle wood. I'm, I'm liking the theme of working with some more jungle wood. And I think it will look kind of cool to have it as the bar as well. I think jungle wood looks cool. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. If you guys want me to change it up, I'll definitely consider it. So let me know if you guys have any cool designs. Uh, do I have any more? I have to go get some more jungle wood. All right, let's go do that. And uh, yeah, the enchantment room is coming along. We're going to have to fix that up as well. So what do we need again? We need the jungle wood. So it should be over here. We have a few more. How much is that? 15. We should get some extras with us. There we go. Let's go ahead and convert all of that. We should actually get some more stuff with us since we are here. Item frames, some fences, some spruce. Uh, let's see. Maybe some trap doors, some chests. And uh, do we have... Well, what else can we get here? We can get some oak wood slabs. I think oak wood slabs is cool. Actually, let's go with the darker... And other than that, I think that's everything. We'll take some jungle wood as well with us. I Just in case, because if we come up with a design while we're working on this area, it would be kind of cool. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do potions here or if we're going to have potions done underground. Um, so both of which are things I'm still debating on. So let me know in the comment sections. I'd like to have like a cool underground potion room and then we could just put everything we need here on display. That would be kind of cool. Um, but here, let's start working on the first thing that's the most important is the chairs. So, uh, no, I need to make a uh, crafting bench quickly. So let's do this right now. Here it is. Place that over here. And let's go ahead and craft just all this into redstone. There we go. Because now we're going to use the sticky pistons as chairs. Um, so we're going to make it. I, hopefully it's kind of even. Hopefully it's even. So I'm thinking that's, is that too far out? Maybe like right here is just about enough. I think that's about enough. So one chair here, one chair here, and one over there. And I think that's perfect because it gives us space here. So that's good. We'll go for that. I think that works. All right. So we have to just put redstone down here. And then just the sticky piston, which is right there. And there it is. And oh, wait. No, that's not going to work. We need to make it one further back. Yep. We need to make it one further back. So let's grab those again because we need a table as well, right? So if we don't have a table, then there's no point to having this. Uh, you know, this could be a really small room that I think about it. But we might have to expand it eventually. So let's go back down here. Let's grab everything. Well, that was a complete disaster. Okay, so now we need to just fill in some of this, whatever we can here. And then we have some jungle wood. Perfect. So we're just going to move it one step further back. And that should be perfect. That should be good enough for now. If we need to make this room bigger, it's no issue. We definitely have the the room for it. If there was another building behind this, then that would be a slight issue. But as of right now, this is really just perfect. There's no need to to worry about it too much. So now as for the... Uh, oh, I want to actually replicate what I did for the, uh, the office desk at the dog adoption area. Because I thought it looked really, really cool. That could be perfect for a bar. So it's going to be... Okay, so it's going to be the... the this way okay we have to replicate that okay i got it i got it it's in my head it's good to go let's get this going and we're going to use uh the uh i think we're going to use jungle wood stairs but then it's going to be too too much with the floor so let's go get some dark oak uh or some spruce stairs and then we have the trap doors which is good so do we have spruce chairs or uh, yeah spru spru is it called chairs yeah stairs why did i say chairs See, this is what I realized when I'm editing things. I realize how often I say some random gibberish, which doesn't make sense. I never understand why. All right, so it's pretty much what we did was stairs going this way. And now we're going to have the, where is it? The wooden trap doors on top like this. And look how awesome that looks. I think that just looks cool, personally. Obviously, there's not enough space, but who cares? This is, like, good enough for, like, a simple design. Um, we could even move the chairs one down further, um, but that's not a big deal. That's No, that's not a big deal. And next, we can add ourselves the gate. The gate can go, like, right here. And I'm thinking, should we add the extra table right there? Would that be, like, even? I guess that works. Yeah, that would make everything even again. So, all right, that works, that works. And then back here, you can just enter. You have all this extra space. And look at this, it looks perfect. Um, over here, we're also going to have a table area. So, and this time, I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the new design for it. Because let's go with, let's go ahead and try to use 
jungle wood. So I'm going to make the sides kind of supporting. Oh, geez, I forgot. We don't even have a, a ceiling. So it's going to be difficult to try this right now. But we're just going to fill in the ceiling with whatever jungle wood we have at the moment. So we're going to make it like a tall ceiling, kind of like right over there is perfect. Um, and we're just connected. For now, it's going to be jungle wood, but it's going to be something different. Or it might just stay jungle wood, to be honest. It doesn't really hurt us to put this ceiling like this because it matches the floor. And really, it's not that bad at all. So I might leave it like this. Um, if not, then I'll change it. I'm thinking of probably doing what I did with the armor room where you have those uh, oaks or the kind of like the wood logs that are connecting from the top and making it look kind of cool. So that's something I might consider, actually. It'll probably make it look more open as well. So that's something I might try. But for now, I'm just going to close everything in. That way we have it so it's like we can clearly visualize it a little bit better. All right, so you go back here, and I want to add these to go down like this. So at least, so right here, we'll have one more. Perfect. And now we're going to have some shelving. Uh, we could definitely put, like, a few of those over there like that. Or actually... I want to use slabs instead. Let's go with uh, spruce slabs. Let's get some spruce slabs, place them like this, and then we can also do the same for the top. I was thinking of something like this would look kind of cool. That looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. Okay. And over here, we can add some other type of details. We can definitely put uh, some chests. We can add like uh, one chest there and then maybe like a chest up there, but we can't really do that because I forgot it won't be able to open. Uh, so with that being said, uh, we're probably just going to have to just leave one chest for now. And we probably need some furnaces. We need we need something else as well for that holds the water. I forgot what that's called. I completely forgot what that's called. I think we just need iron for that. I'm not entirely sure. But for now, this is just all uh, just a trial and error. We're going to definitely make it more interesting to design. And I realize that this is going to have to go so we can have it looking good like that. Yeah, that's going to have to go. So let's remove those slabs. Now, I'm almost, almost debating right now. We can either keep those or we can add the uh, stone or the cobblestone wall, technically. That that would be kind of cool as well. Um, so let's figure out. I don't even know if I like the slabs just hanging like that. So we're going to remove those slabs. Um, and then I have to figure out what we're going to do for the design over here. So that's where I'm going to ask you guys in the comment sections how I should design this or how should I go about when it comes to designing this a little bit more detailed. Um, I don't think it looks really bad right now. So wait, can I do any? Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. That's a little bit of detail right there. So we can t definitely remove those. There we go. And now those look like the back of the seats, which is really, really awesome. That's, that's cool. But then again, it does look nice to have it like this. So I think that looked better. Um, yeah, we're just going to put those back up top over here. That looks better. Now, I'm trying to think anything else that I could do that's, like, on the spot that I could look kind of decent. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to have some chests along the wall. That would look kind of cool, but I don't know if it's going to look nice. So, we can try to do a chest there, a chest over here. Make it look a little bit interesting. We'll have... Oh, we can't even open that chest, though. So, that's the issue. So, if we do that, that won't look too bad. And then we can have a slab over there. That looks kind of cool. Or we can do, like, a trap, trap door. Let's go ahead and try a trap door. Do we have one on us? There we go. Let's go ahead. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Okay, see now this is cool. This is different. It adds a little bit of more detail to this whole room. And up here, I'm trying to think we could probably put a slab up there. So let's go ahead and do that. Or actually, could we open a chest that we put here? No, we can't. Okay. Ooh, this is the, the difficult part here. How are we going to design the top? Uh, what we could do, one thing I have in mind is we can try to do this. Let me get the... Here we go. Let's go for this. Let's try and, and go with this design, maybe this approach. We can still open the chest. It still looks quite decent. I don't know if I like the chest to be so random like that, though. No, that I do not like. We're going to have potions here. The potions are literally going to be on here. So there's no point for me um, to put anything there. But I don't mind this so far, guys. I think this looks okay. And what we could do here is we can add uh, maybe a trap door kind of like close it down over there and have a little bit of space here for the thing that holds the water some potions and a shelf here uh a shelf wouldn't be too bad so what we could do is we could do this there we go see now that's okay that that i don't mind i think that looks good so yeah guys so far this is the, the start of the kind of potion area that we can go ahead and get like speed of potion or whatever we have in mind but yeah this is this is quite cool i like this so let's go ahead and actually 
quickly get some rest because I just realized now the whole time we were there we could have got a creeper or a visitor of a mob just walking in there and completely attack us without the door there's no no doors either so we could have got wrecked over there that that whole entire place could have got destroyed um, but I'm glad it didn't so we should be fine I don't see I see a few creepers sneaking around here um, none that are too dangerous at the moment so, oh how how did that how did that happen oh geez where are you guys coming from oh my gosh this is what i mean guys this is what i mean with creepers they have become more evolved they're definitely more more dangerous than before all they do is, is they always find a way to sneak up on you it's just horrible like just now that was just the worst possible way to end off this episode with a creeper apparently coming out of nowhere which is like they're like ninjas right now I did not see him. I swear. I looked around and I made sure this place was was safe. Uh, but if you guys saw him, I'm gonna definitely see it through the uh, replay when I edit this. So if you got, if I, if I completely missed him, I'm gonna be completely upset because I definitely did a full scoop. I I did a full turnaround to make sure we're safe and I still hit him. So uh, that does suck right there. But whatever. I'll fix up this path. But other than that, guys, let me know what you guys think about this. I'm pretty happy with this. We're going to go and get some more potions for sure. And everything else here is looking pretty smooth. And I'm really, really happy with how this village is starting to take its shape now. It's definitely taking a turn for the better, I think. Uh, I really do like it. So other than that, guys, my name is Alex. And peace out and stay foxy.